Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and what I want to remind you to do is to keep track of the weaknesses in your guitar playing as well as the strengths of your guitar playing. Okay? It's always an awesome idea to keep reinforcing those things that you're really good at um, because those are the core elements that make up your your guitar playing, your your person, really. Um, but what we want to do is know what our weaknesses are too because eventually if we can really focus in on those weaknesses we can turn those weaknesses of course into strengths and they're things that will become natural and automatic for us when we play. So what I don't want you to do is just write down 50 things that you think you suck at, right? Don't do something like that because that just makes you feel miserable. Think about the things that are accessible within a relatively short amount of time that are weaknesses of yours. Don't think like long term, like I'm a rock guitar player and I suck at jazz, right? Okay, let's let's narrow it down a little bit more than that. Let's think these are the strengths that we have. Right here are all of our strengths. What are some weaknesses that exist right outside the sphere of our strengths? What are some of those weaknesses that we can start trying to focus on to excel the strengths that we have to expand this sphere? So all of a sudden we have more strengths or the strengths that we have are even more, com they're, they're compounded because of these, these new strengths that have come in. So keep track of your weaknesses, but please remember, don't just write down everything that you don't think that you're good at. Rather, what you should be doing is thinking about the weaknesses that are right outside the strengths that you already have. Here would be a really good example. Um, you're really good at vibrato, but you still have a really hard time doing half step bends or whole step bends or something like that. Well, that's something that's crucial to your playing. It just is. It's something that's really, really important, you know, versus saying, well, I can't play fast, so I want to learn how to play 250 beats per minute or something like that. That's a long-term goal, and there are, there are short-term elements to get us to that long-term, but that bending element is something that could take that sphere of success that you've got and expand it quite quickly with some real good deep practice of, of how to effectively bend, how to listen to the bend, how to feel the bend, Right, using choosing the right guitar strings, all those sorts of things. Um, so think about those things when you're practicing. Again, keep track of your strengths and then choose some re weaknesses that are right outside the sphere of those strengths um, and start hacking away at those so you can keep getting better and better and feeling good about yourself. So take care and I'll speak to you soon. Hi there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that it helped you a little bit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor and either like it, subscribe to the channel, share it, or comment on it, okay? That's gonna help us out enormously. Um, and then we can keep in contact with you when we have new material that comes out. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, we've got some other videos over here that you can watch that might be able to help you on your guitar journey as well. And if you look up on the top there, you're gonna see there's a little eye up there. If you click on that, we are gonna be giving you a free gift just to say thank you for watching the video. Um, and then if you'd like to follow us on social media, you can use the term at GuitarZoom and you can find us there, all right? So take care, keep practicing, and have a great day.